Soviets have a lot of people and resources in their army. Filmmakers were often hired to promote their socialist agenda. Ivan makes a lot of gigantic war movies, specifically set upon the time period of World War II. The Great Patriotic War, as it was called in the Soviet Union. Ivan looks at a lot of the American war movies being made at this time. Ivan doesn't like seeing M48 Patton tanks used as German tanks, specifically as Tiger 1s and Tiger 2s. Da, we must use the real German tanks. Well, one problem, Ivan. There aren't many tanks left because guess what? They were destroyed by your country. Undetermined, Ivan looks at what he's got. I noticed a lot of T-34 85s lying around. I got it! Using thin metal, most simple water tanks use, Ivan got to work dressing up a bunch of his Russian-made T-34s and many T-44s and dressed them up to, you guessed it, look like tigers. To the untrained eye, these mock-ups look so good that many actual Western films wound up incorporating them into their films, such as Kelly's Heroes. But Adam, those are still not the real thing, thus they're still bad. Are they? What if I told you that a film universally beloved by everyone, be it history buffs, war film enthusiasts like myself, and so on and so forth, used these mock-up T-34s in that film? Well, what is it? Saving Private Ryan. And what if I told you that the most beloved series of all time used another mock-up? Band of Brothers. That's right, the German tanks that you see in Saving Private Ryan and Band of Brothers were actually mocked up T-34 tanks dressed to look like the Tiger Ones. Look at a real Tiger tank next to these mock-ups, and they look really similar. Some differences in the widths of the turret and some angles changes here and there, but damn, I even nailed it! To the untrained eye, what is the easiest way to spot one of these mock-ups? Look at the treads. You see, the Russians were smart. The Russians like to mass-produce whatever on, on huge scale. The T-34 treads, it doesn't matter what model, all had one wheel, uh, set of wheels, to line up the tank treads. The Germans, they ain't so smart. The Germans had a nasty problem of overproducing their stuff, and the Tiger I was no exception to this. There are many small details, but the most important one are the Tiger's treads. The wheels of a Tiger stupidly overlapped each other, making it a bitch and a half to clean or to replace a part. Sergei over there just needs to remove one wheel and clean it and or replace a broken part. In the least, Hans needs to remove three wheels just to get to the one he needs to fix. So look to the treads, my friends. Look to the treads. As for the T-44s used, they were much flatter than the actual Tiger. And it's funny how in these Russian films, they seem to think that that's all Hans used were these Tigers. Hans didn't use that many Tigers at all. Da! I can fix that! To a much lesser extent, Ivan actually took several IS-2 tanks and put some of the same thin plating to mimic the Panther Fives. Ironic how the Panzer V was made by Hans to copy the Soviet sloped armor of a T-34, only to then have Ivan mock up their already sloped armor tanks to mimic a Panzer V. But Ivan, these look like shit. <laughs> Duh, they have never noticed. Well, I'm here to say this fat fuck did notice, but props, Ivan. Mad props. In my opinion, the French actually did it better in their film as Paris Burning. Uh, where they took a chaffy and modified it into a panther. It actually looks pretty good. It doesn't look perfect, but glad the French did something right. 